I got involved with Blue September because my brother has prostate cancer. About two years ago, I'm the baby, so there's three, bro three boys. And um, about two years ago, he's in his mid-50s, and his wife and my sister have been nagging about, you should just go get a check. You know, just go get a check and sort it out. And he's, a bit, a bit of a, he's a bit of a stubborn bugger. And it was too late. So he, uh, they discovered he had prostate cancer. They had two invasive surgeries and missed it both times, basically didn't clean it out. And now that it's in the family and they say it can be, potentially, genetic, and the whole nine yards, you go, right, okay, time to put your hand up and do something. It's not a big deal. I mean, I, <laughs> I got the finger first, and uh, my doctor said to me, which is interesting, because the guys go, oh no, someone's gonna put a rubber glove on and they're gonna stick their finger up my bum. Well, yes, they are. It's quite simple, they are gonna stick your finger up your bum. Uh, the fact is, though, my doctor said you should do both, do the blood and the finger, because the finger, <laughs> it's terrible, isn't it? The finger, uh, you can feel the prostate. You can actually get a good feel on the prostate. It's not as bad as you think it is, really. Just make sure you have a shower and got clean undies on, you're sweet. <laughs> it's funny how much relief you get when you're waiting for the result, knowing that a member of your family has it. And it was like a weight was lifted off my shoulders. Unbelievably. I yearly check now, which is the key that all guys should do. They say, yeah, yeah, I've got guys that said, have you had a check? Oh, yeah, I'll get around to it. And I say, no, you, you've got to get onto it. So you're not tempting fate, but you are tempting something just in case. As my brother found out, no, 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 boom. We're on this planet for one shot, and we've got to give it a decent shot because life's really short. And if you're gonna try and dodge bullets and not look after yourself, then you're not letting yourself down, you're actually letting everybody else down and, and those that are around you. You do yourself and your family a disservice and an injustice if you, if you roll the dice on that one. So guys have gotta go out and get checked regularly. We've gotta raise awareness. So just wake up. Wake up and smell the roses rather than being not waking up and having roses put on the top. The Shelby Wright attitude is gone. It's, it's over with, particularly when it comes to men's health. And if, they, if guys can't see friends of theirs dropping around them and realizing it could be them one day, or it doesn't have to be them one day, well, my brother might not make 60. I don't know that, but that still scares me and sits in the back of my head. And I think that sucks. You know, my mother's still alive, and can you imagine how she might feel seeing one of hers go before she's supposed to go, she's just turned 80. Blue September's a great idea. I've been watching this for, for as long as it's been going on. I'd seen the Blue September ads, but gone, oh yeah, there's Blue September. Eh, standard reaction. Oh yeah, there's the blood pressure, there's, there's Buck Shelf, you know, that's great. Yeah. <laughs> it's not until you get hit from the blind side, don't be a mug, go get checked, and stop thinking about yourself. Think about those around you. Give prostate cancer the finger this blue September.